<laughs> Hi to everyone else that's listening. Guys, Phil was low key almost late to this when we're like. Hi guys, I'm gonna post an Insta story with a 30 minute countdown and Phil's go, I'm just gonna take the bins out, don't worry, I got time. Look, I was trying to take the bins out, which I did, but I was wearing a coat, which I forgot, has a dodgy zip. So then I got trapped in the coat, basically. I couldn't get out. I was like, I can't do this whole show wearing a coat because I'm gonna get too hot. I hear this so... door slam. And then I look around yeah. the corner and <laughs> Phil's just, you know when you're furiously trying to undo a zip, like, and it's just not happening and it's literally 58 and um, bro like people yeah. are they're expecting entertainment they were waiting in two the minutes more... and you're like oh, oh, i'm stuck in the coat <laughs> the more i tried to unzip the more i tried to unzip the <laughs> the, the harder it got <laughs> i'm just gonna get out oh, i couldn't get out i thought i that was oh. that didn't sound right. <laughs> Look, i thought i was gonna have to call it oh jesus turn. anyway welcome to dan and phil everybody what a great note to start oh we have a message hi hi guys Ooh. how are you i hope you're well i hope you're really really well and doing all right oh thank you what a kind start we're doing well really well i, w I don't know if phil's well or if you're like panicked. <laughs> <laughs> i'm still i'm still mildly shaken by it i thought a yeah. fire person was gonna have to come and cut me out with those giant scissors that they use to get people out That's of cars and dramatic. stuff sure maybe they could have joined in with the show though as like a little extra bonus friend i don't know and that anyway would be our well first friend <laughs> 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 the first friend that we've had. Welcome to Lockdown Lads. Actually, ah. we did a I did a poll on Insta Stories, and it's currently fifty one percent box boys. So you guys would no oh help at all God. because that was basically fifty fifty. Mate, I named the show Lockdown Lads already because I thought it was winning. It's fine. I, it could still overtake it. If anyone hasn't been to my Insta story yet, you need to vote and choose Lockdown Lads because it's far superior. Quick, quickly, have an opinion. Um, okay. Do it. Well, hello. Oh my goodness. Wow. Christ. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> same yeah that that was phil the moment he got out of his coat i'm glad that everybody's on the same yeah. emotional wavelength right now so hey I felt like a, a, what the a heck caterpillar that had been born out Come, of coming out of this. okay very yeah, and it's... what now you're a beautiful anxiety ridden butterfly that barely made it on time to your own show yeah i came out yeah. i'm the gay butterfly anyway well we should get some of the names for what the show should be do you not think that should be something we should do um, maybe. I think uh, we should firstly explain what the hell this is and why we're doing it. Because, like, oh, yeah. hi, my name's Dan, <laughs> and I am talking, and I'm talking yeah. with Phil, and I'm alive, I exist, and here we go. That's notable. I'm, I'm Phil, and I'm also talking. We're in lockdown. We've just been with each other for about how many months without seeing another That's human right. face? Bro, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. I forgot what other we, people sound like. We don't like go outside like. as part of our career or lifestyle. So no. there's abiding lockdown because you try not to get COVID. And then there's being Dan and Phil also just living their regular lifestyle, trying not to do it. So we have not spoken to other people for so long. And I guess, well, you did th uh, this for a few weeks before Christmas. Yes. And people liked it. I did one with yeah. you. I did another one. We had fun. People on the internet seemed to like it. So then, um, why not keep ourselves sane by talking to other people? <laughs> yeah. No offence, Phil. Why not lubricate our vocal cords? Like a radio show. Mm. So it's going to be casual. It's going to be chaotic. Yeah. We're going to hang yes. out. We're going to play games. We're going to and... talk about our lives. We're going to talk about hot topics. You guys can talk to us. Bravo. Hello. Although, if most of you are going to be like Adam, I'm going to stop talking to you because <laughs> that scared me. Adam, I was, you're not valid. I was scared and entertained. It was fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, the so... magic of this is you have the power to send messages, which is fun or apparently scary. So that'll be cool. It's kind of like, well, I like that this is audio only as opposed yeah. to the live shows of the old days because right now I can just wear whatever I want. I can look so ugly and it doesn't matter. Do you have any idea how freeing that is for me? Just emotionally just so and spiritually. Yeah. yeah. I have the well, right we... to be ugly and at peace right now. <laughs> and so does everybody listening. You don't everyone, have to sh everyone should be ugly and at peace at all times. Just exactly. let it all go. 
it's mm, fine. undressed and unfiltered, intimate, Dan and Dan, Phil lockdown. We're not lads, undressed. What? We're not undressed. We've already talked about it. The only fact is it's not happening. <laughs> okay, there it is. Wow, I wondered how long it would take before you mentioned that. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, well, like we said, it's going to be lockdown lads, but I thought you guys listening could have your own creativity. What does the hive mind mm. want us to call the show? So, what could we call this series? Dan and Phil talking to each other, just yeah. trying to get back their sanity. Because, you know, us, we're moving house right now. We're living in boxes. Are we box boys? Are we, what did you say, cardboard kings? Cardboard kings? One. What should we yeah. name the show? You could name the next episode of this. Send Come us a producers. voice message. Do it. Yeah. Do the work for um, us. We'll just lie back and do nothing. Mm-hmm. We fully thought that we would be living out of cardboard boxes and a suitcase each for about three weeks, and it's been three months. Um, So we're learning a lot about how to live with nothing, which is nice, but also uh, I vastly underpacked, and I have two T-shirts. Yeah, like Literally. you've re- you've really worked those two T-shirts until they've got <laughs> holes in them. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't take any kind of coat. In December, no. that's how intelligent you are. You're like, oh, we're moving house, uh, but it's fine. I don't need a coat. And then now you're freezing, and you have to dive into about seven meters of chaotic cardboard nightmares just to get your winter coat out. And then you got stuck. I did. There. I did full floor is lava parkour. There was a moon mirror. I had to jump over three boxes. I was diving through the cardboard boxes. I felt there like I should have filmed it. There was a dill head. And <laughs> it was very perilous. I thought I could die. And what a way to die, trying to get myself a winter yeah. coat when it's, when it's about to be not cold, cold again. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you the, like, you, we had the whole snow period that was in London when it was snowing. By the yeah. way, that snow penis on my Instagram, Jesus Christ. The snow Literally penis. everybody. It was How did penis, no one guys. notice? So many of my friends, mutuals, other yeah. internet people, random pop stars were like, oh, lovely smiley face that's a positive message bro i drew a cock in the snow but I dan I, 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 as a gay maybe you're more likely to recognize a penis from that's a homophobic phil, <laughs> phil <laughs> how dare you right oh wait we have a suggestion Here we what go. about quarantine companions <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! See, I, I got like in that. trouble. I got in trouble with cardboard kings because the C and the K quarantine well, obviously, companions. Yeah, quarantine. I like it though. Companions in this scenario are spelled with a Q U, <laughs> just to be extra. I like, I like that. that. Please, okay. please, 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 please call it Lady Door Live Show. Twitter has voted. Oh. <laughs> I, I, did that trend? I did see that Not a lot on my Twitter earlier. Oh my god! I feel like I just got. That's like the game or something. Yeah. How long have I gone in my life without being reminded of Lady Door? I mean, we did perpetuate the Lady Door. Look, 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 we, people, we, we played I'm, it on tour. I'm going to be abundantly clear. If I'm coming back on a whim just to give myself someone to talk to and do these shows with Phil until we move, you have to be nice to me. You can't go reminding me of Lady Door eight minutes into the first thing that I do on the internet. Please respect my privacy and my mental health. Hey, I've got a fondness for Lady Door. It, it brings back good memories to me. Um, what but about... you don't have a fondness for Lady Door because no. you um, are Which allowed why... to say the thing. Which yeah. is why I saw the penis in the snow. Yeah. Um, okay. We've got another one. Can I play Full it? Full circle. Well, the uh, whole yeah. show... Is this joint content? <laughs> Just question Is this mark. real life? Is, Is this it? joint content? Is if we're it, talking man? to each other, because we're so psychic and mind-connected, is yeah. it even joint content, or do we just become this weird thing? I don't know. A, a lot of people ask me, Dan, why are you different with Phil to when you're by yourself? And I think some what, of what it does is that mean? <laughs> the co- just emotionally, I have a different energy vibration because yeah. you know when I'm by myself, it's usually because I'm on some kind of righteous fury rant about something, or I'm being really sarcastic. But you yes. bounce off the energy of whoever you're with. So with you, I just become this uh, unhelpfully chaotic mirror bounce, you know, of the, yeah. like, the strange and en- like we can't help creating dan and phil crafts it just happens mm. you know it what does. i mean so w- whenever you get dan and phil together it doesn't matter what i'm doing i'm gonna regress back to this mindset <laughs> <laughs> where 
<laughs> I'm we radiate the chaos. I'm drawing cat whiskers on my face. I'm, just, uh, <laughs> I'm returning. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, I'm no longer got... Dan. I am Dan and Phil Dan. He's got the Sharpie in his hand. No, put it down. Yeah, um, I mean, what, what would I be talking about if this was a show by myself? Who cares? This is a show with you, Phil. So it's, yeah, I'm Dan and Phil Dan. And we're going to talk about Dan and Phil things like um, snow penises. Yes. And coats. What about, what rhymes with chaotic? That could be the name of the show. Chaotic. Uh, chaotic um, Companions. Ca- yes, C-O. That's the model, uh, yes. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and also, uh, you don't even know, in regards to when we're moving house, what you'll be able to make and when, because we don't even know exactly when we're moving yet. No. <laughs> it's just it, like, it's, you can't plan all, your life. It's all up in the air. I need to put like things like tripods into boxes at some point, but I just oh, don't know when. Fun. Well, yeah. thank you all, everybody listening right now, for joining us. And we hope that over these next coming weeks of this transformational period of our life, you enjoy just hanging out, just being like buds. Yeah. Shooting let's, the shit. Let's let it all hang. Well, we've got one more. Box God. boys. It's got to be box boys. There we go. Okay, fine. That's it. Box Alice boys. decided. Conversation over. We could just yeah, alternate it. Box boys. Actually, now I think about it, does Box Boys not have some kind of uh, vaginal energy similar to I Lady don't, Door? I don't know, but <laughs> now you've said it, maybe. Now I need to change our stereo hashtag to vaginal energy. No, don't do that. They're going to kick us off. What are the rules and what... <laughs> Not to talk about. Well, wait. Also, this is this yeah. is a new thing. What are the rules on my language? Because we know you can swear. I mean, I swore quite a lot in your YouTube video. Sorry about that, Phil. I Jesus. have to use. I get so I get many... invited onto your channel after all this time, and then yeah. this is how I treat you. I need to respect your home. I had to use so many animal noises to cover up your swears because that is the thing that can give you the guidelines breach or get <gasps> you demonetized. <gasps> I would on hit. I've forgotten. Yeah. On here, you can swear. Just let one out now. Just do it. Poop. <laughs> I'm offended. Blocked. I'll try not to. I fully know someone right now is listening to this with their like, grandma sat in the corner of the room, and I already said <laughs> vaginal energy. <laughs> so all of the, uh, the yeah. people locked down with people, I mean, maybe someone's on like a Zoom call with their boss right now or something. If you are doing that, you're making bad career decisions. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'm aware of the power that we have, and I'm scared. So what are we going to do on this show, Danny Laddie? Right, well, we're doing this on two days, because we figured it's kind of a shout-out. I used to do live shows on a Tuesday, and you did them on a Thursday, so it's got old-school vibes. So we figured, uh, as well as just randomly taking questions and talking about um, the horrifying... I'm not going to say it again. We will let each other have a turn. So Tuesday is going to be Dan Day. Watch out. Uh, so I've decided that the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to call it like Tea Tuesday. I like it. We should have cups of tea. The concept of tea and spilling tea is overused. However, mm. it's alliteration and I love that. And it succeeds, you know, it's more powerful than anything. Yes. So uh, anything I want to get off my chest, I'm going to use this as the opportunity to talk about it. And it's going to be cool. And our first topic today is... What are the ways in which we're all um, totally fed up of lockdown? Because we're going to have to talk about it at some point, and then we'll be bored, and we don't want to talk about it again. So let's get it off our chest now. And by let's we, I mean me and Phil just want to complain about what we don't like about each other. Yes. Our question I, I think for it, you it's, guys, le- it's less like, what's wrong with... Because lockdown is a very necessary thing to stop us all dying. Oh, yeah. But no, no, sorry, sorry. I mean... That sounded we, funny. We, we believe... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what let, let's, let's make it abundantly clear... We we believe in vaccines and locking do. down. <laughs> and whilst we don't want to die from this extremely real pandemic, we don't like only being with each other because yeah. um, if there were things that annoyed us about living with each other before a global pandemic, um, Phil leaving socks everywhere has become a violent and terrifying issue in my yes. life. But what I want to ask you guys about is, have you seen Go Horribly Wrong on a video call? Because 
my favourite thing ever has been the Hanforth Parish Council meeting <laughs> <laughs> and the lawyer with the cat filter and just people, you know, standing up and not wearing pants. We have a couple stories we're going to tell, but we want you guys to tell us if you've been in a study group or you've been in a horrible work meeting or you've been catching up with elderly relatives, what has gone horribly wrong on a video call that you've been on? Please share so we feel less weird. I, I bet there's so many that happen all the time since most of us are on a video call like half of the day. There's got to yep. be some coming through. Um, this is going to be a support group. Let's get it going. Okay, well, Dan, talking about general lockdown with Phil, just get it out. What annoys you the most about me? Release that tension. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, people complained about the serial stealing being a meme back in the day, but you need to understand people. It's not a joke. Phil does not leave half of the snacks. <laughs> Phil, I will open the cupboard and they will be gone. Like yeah. 70%. Or I'll just hear noises and it'll be rustling. And I get that it's fine. And Phil is like, I will replenish the Haribo. Replenish. Don't me, or whatever. But it's just a trust issue. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like, I wouldn't eat over 50% of the snacks. I would leave nine out of 10 hobnobs or vegan Percy pigs in the cupboard. Phil doesn't. I love and a good hobnob. That upset. What do you have to say for yourself? Hey, listen, I'm a hungry boy. I'm growing, as my grandma used to say. So you need to yes. get better at just hiding your snacks. <laughs> However, speaking of food, whenever we get delivery food, which is quite often because we don't like cooking and also it's like the one joy of lockdown is getting delivery food. It's exciting. Carbohydrates shoved yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Um, Dan, even though I'm the more socially anxious one, always makes me answer the door or shout through the door is what I do to the delivery driver because I'm paranoid. Um, so that's a thing. But something happened because of that, which was actually quite terrifying. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'm about to say? <laughs> uh, yeah. What, the home invasion incident? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Living in London, usually I lock my door. I lock the door. However... Sometimes I leave it ajar. I don't know why. I just do. Maybe it's from you when forget. I used to live in a safe little town. I was like, oh, we just leave the door open. I forget. I forgot. To lo I forgot. I left it ajar. Okay. I left the door it ajar. Yeah. It was open. It was open. It was wide open. So we ordered our delivery food and kind of forgot about it. Sometimes it takes about an hour to get it because everyone's ordering delivery all the time. And I forgot that we ordered it. And we were in the middle of playing... I think I was playing Apex Legends on the Xbox. And... I was in the middle of the game. I looked up and there is a man in a motorcycle helmet just stood inside the lounge. In and I was like, the apartment. In the, he not, was in not our at house. the door. He no. walked through the door, through a corridor, into the room. And you need to answer, imagine you're just looking up, vibing, not having any idea your food, your takeaway is about yeah. to arrive. And then a man in a motorbike helmet is just stood in the middle of your room, three feet away from your face. Phil screams. I screamed like, into his face. <laughs> Like, I, I, I don't think I've ever screamed that loud. It was crazy. I thought I was about to be kidnapped or something. It was insane mm. until I saw he was holding a big bag of food. Your food, yeah. I, I could focus through the helmet and see some happy eyes beneath his mask. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay. He's I just trying to be happened. helpful. And he, I think he must have been one of those people that's just like, yeah, I'll just come into the house and bring it in and be well, helpful. Well, you left the door open. So yeah. if somebody is about to knock on a door... And, and it's, it's open. open. I mean, he just walked in. I mean, Phil, from a home invasion privacy, but also COVID standpoint, was like... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a full, it was a full scream. It was an absolute terror scream. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there was any malicious intent. It was more over-helpful. So once I realised what was yeah. happening, I wasn't, mm. I wasn't like, get out of my house. I was more just like, okay, I see what's So happening. anyway, Phil, Phil gets the food right, and the guy leaves. And then we start unpacking our pasta, and we're like, that was weird, right? Whatever. And then all of a sudden, I get a notification on my phone. And I'm like, oh, it's the guy. And then we look up. The guy... Again, Phil closed the door. The door just starts shaking violently because, <laughs> and Phil screams again. Yeah. The guy presumed the door was open. He didn't mean to shake it violently. He just thought it was open again, and, but he just walked into the door. So this guy in a helmet fully walked into our door thinking we're just freaks who leave our door open all the time. It turned yeah. out he didn't realize that there's a press to exit button in the lobby and he was trapped. And for about 10 minutes, he was just trapped in the lobby and he thought he was going to die there. 
Um, yeah. So he tried to come in again. And but the thing yeah, is, Phil I'm, was shook. After the, customers, after the customer has screamed in your face, are you yeah. going to try and just walk into their house again? Or are you going to ring the doorbell? Oh, no, the I'd be time? like, these guys are weird. <laughs> I'm running away. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you, you, get, you gave him a tip to say thank you for making me shit myself. Um, I, and I did. There we go. We had a nice time. Yeah. I'm either five oh, years we, young, we, younger or five years older now. I'm not sure which. <laughs> we have a story. Here we go. The other day, my sister was on a meet. She's like 11. Yeah. And I walked in screaming penis because I thought she was not on a meet. And yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So there's your sister trying to like build a career for herself and have a normal yeah. life. And then you walk in being the freak comedy big sister. And now she, she has no chance. <laughs> <laughs> She's just that person that has I mean, a penis sister. Um, yeah, there's not, there's not really a word you can pretend you were saying that wasn't penis. Like, what else? No. Was, there's nothing that rhymes with it. What do you say? Oh, sorry, mm. that was... Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of more to Ouch. You I like that our first away. one was you just causing the issue completely. It wasn't like yeah. I was on a Zoom <laughs> call with somebody and I saw this. It's like, no, I was that person. Okay, uh, let's hear another. That company boss, I saw it on TikTok, that, mm. I mean, he had like a potato filter on and I don't know, it's just so funny. <laughs> a pot uh, yeah, uh, maybe, whoa. Maybe that was Mr. Potato Head and right now we're potato shaming him. Maybe it was. Once we had quite a serious meeting and I'd left the beard filters on because I think when I did my stereo with PJ, yes, the we, were trying out, yeah. we were trying out beard filters and then the next day there was kind of an important meeting about something and then just showed up, Dan and Phil, with beards on. Cartoon, cartoon moustaches, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a good... Thank you for... I, I'd forgotten that and you just brought that back. <laughs> Thanks that was, for the cringe attack, Phil. That was so cringy. The Jesus. person didn't even react. And I was like, about five minutes in, I was like, because you're in a tiny box. I was like, oh my God, we've got beards. We don't have beards, yeah. okay? No, Although you did suit yours, yeah. Dan. Back to the facial hair. You did suit it. Yes, maybe in 17 and a half years, I will have facial hair. Yeah, because right now, you, will. you know, you know, they're like the teenagers in The Simpsons that have like the weird, like Justin Bieber mustache. Yeah, that's me now. I and you got to think like the guys in One Direction had like sexy stubble about five years ago, <laughs> 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 and I just look like a really upsetting thirteen-year-old. Um, so yeah, Dan, I will he ever finish puberty? That that can be another topic. That's true. We could talk about that as well. Um, so the food issue, I feel like we're equal on that one. I think there was a winner or a yeah. loser in, in that conversation. Uh, something Dan does is he, he's like, oh, I don't have anyone to talk to. Yet he spends half his time adventuring with people online and fighting monsters in games. And I'm just sat on my own playing Apex Legends, getting really angry at 13-year-olds over the internet. So yeah, I, I like actually Dan talk has more to chill, normal people chill gaming in role-playing environments. Phil yeah. just plays Apex by himself um, on Xbox Live with presumably a bunch of very angry seven-year-old boys. Yeah. Um, so you, you do feel... And that, that must do something to you emotionally, Phil. It, it does it does something to me emotionally. I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, when I'm sat there and then Dan, and I can hear his friends going, we need to find the ancient casket and release the bears. Don't, I'm like, don't, that, don't, that's, do not mock me. <laughs> that's, I'm like, that sounds a lot more chill. Um, so my energy after playing video games is, okay, I need to, I need to watch some mm. Real Housewives mm. or something and completely chill my brain out. Get a nice oh. parasocial relationship going on. Yeah. I have friends, they're in my screen. They are. It's live. It is. Should we have another one from the audience? My sure. therapist on a video call, her cat knocked over the camera and we disconnected for a solid, like, minute and a half while she tried to get her cat out of the room. <laughs> I mean, I would, nice. treat that, I would treat that as good therapy because it would make me that laugh. It's like a good therapy, but yeah, chaotic cat content. That's a good... Uh, therapy break i love that you could have been like I, I guys i had a breakthrough i realized that like the the source of my stress is when i was having this formative moment and then suddenly there's just this cat screaming in the background um i think that would help actually yeah yeah i've decided that's a good thing i think i think that should happen in more therapy sessions well just cats screeching when you're trying to yeah. confess something beautiful yeah sure yeah definitely. 100%. Yeah. I so, would say... Go on. 
Go on. I was just going to... Go on, Phil. I was just going to... No, I was going to say something. I was going to say Go something. Go on, Phil. Out. I bet you have something really important to say. Continue. I was going to say, what do you miss the most if you had to choose one thing that you haven't been able to do for a year? Right, so the meme is we're introverts, right? We don't go outside, yeah. we don't have friends, and we don't do anything. That's not a joke. Yeah. It's just true. Okay? Mm. <laughs> that, that, that's our life. But the joke's over. We, I've reached the breaking point. Yeah. I miss going outside. There, I said it. I said it. Oh my the God. ruse is over. I'm done. I mean, I- shove it up my nose right now. <laughs> Let's go. I want to I- lick the floor. I want to lick someone. I want to lick a lollipop. People, yeah. food, places. So I you're just going to be like, wanna give me them. the vaccine immediately. I just want to lick everything. I think there needs to be about five days or something until you can lick things. So you oh, can't do it immediately. The disclaimer. No, no, no. I will follow the procedures and get follow ready to lick things yeah. when the time is right. I feel like it's been so long. I might have become a full extrovert now and I'm just going to like hit the club. <laughs> Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Dan keeps calling me a boomer recently, and I feel like that's gone on the list of me saying hit the club. What do people Uh, say, Dan? uh, What do you mean? When they want to go to the club. How do people say that? I think they can say I want to hit the club. It's just the way that you say it. You know what I mean? Am I too British? (laughs) Phil, do you want me... Are we allowed to talk about the selfie? No. (laughs) We've got... (laughs) Oh my god! Oh, we, we need like, to now. Yeah, <laughs> I I'm not talking about it. Phil posted this one. Oh, I feel mean. No. Uh, okay, fine. I'll 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 say. No, no, no. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it nicely. Right. Uh, look, guys, it's hard to take selfies, right? Just generally, <laughs> it's hard to hold phones. It's hard to pose. Posing is cringe. We're not all Instagram thoughts. I am. You might be. Lots of Instagram people are. Phil's not. That's okay. Let him live. He's valid. But yet Phil has to take selfies. Once on his Instagram, he took a selfie by a river. And it was just kind of clear from the facial expression that Phil was kind of... It had a bit of a selfie stick energy about it. And I think it was one person was like, Oh, Phil, this photo is such a boomer Karen. (laughs) They were like, Phil was like, what does that mean, Dan? How am I yeah. a Boomer Karen? What does Boomer Karen mean? What's wrong with this photo? It's a nice photo. I'm like, it is a nice photo. But what? Well, I don't know. It's, 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 it just has an energy about it. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Oh, well, then I searched yeah. and about, about four other people said this has Boomer energy. And I kind of mm. see what you mean. And that's because I can't hold a phone properly or take a good selfie, which is why when we were on tour, Dan took every single photo when we met people because i just can't do Mm. it i don't have those finger skills it's hard (laughs) especially when you're sitting like oh oh god oh my god i've said it now yeah wow Uh, what are we talking about i'm really i'm struggling to move on from that oh yes people some people at meet and greets would be like I want Phil to hold the phone for the novelty of it because Dan always holds the phone and then Phil would just be like, you know, this is going to be a bad phone. <laughs> 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 well, like, like, meeting... Funny idea. I appreciate it. No. Yeah. It, when, when someone did ask that, I'd be like, let's get one for, like, let's get Dan to take one as well so you don't have a blurry picture in the end. I'm learning. But guess I'm what, getting, Phil? I'm getting Guess better. what, Phil? What? You're valid. Thank you. You can do whatever you want. We support you. And my next selfie is not going to have boomer energy. I'm going to try really and hard. Even if I don't it know, does, that's I don't know how fine. to do that. What do I do? Do I just stand further back? Is it my face? Or is it the entire thing? You just need to release thing? the thought. Yeah. You need, okay. to, you need to smize and pout. I'll, I'll smize. Okay. Um, let's hear what else has happened on your Zoom Please. Call. Oh my god, no. This, so this um, didn't really happen to me. <laughs> my friend was texting me while they were in Zoom. And you know how you put like backgrounds and like we're like in college and someone had like an anime girl with her whole ass titty showing <laughs> in his Zoom university class. I could not. I could not. Bro. No. N- no. No to the body pillow. You need to hide that. There is a time and a place for the is minion there? yaoi. Yeah. Oh. Stop. You, ha- you had an anime body pillow. 
Ironically. <laughs> Ironically. Um, Ironically. That, that's what Dan's saying on the thing. Yes, I did. But there was no full, um, quote-unquote, titties Breast. of Haru from Free. Um, he did have he did have good man breasts because he's a swimmer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's got that Michael Phelps physique. Yeah, um, same. <laughs> anyway, we have um, area ma- uh, manager meetings, and I didn't realise that my microphone was on, mm. and I was just absolutely slagging off my area manager and. Um, <gasps> Yeah, you can imagine how that went. No. Oh my Danny god. Danny panic. That, that is a Dan move right there. That is so yeah. that is such epically bad timed cringe. That's like something that <laughs> I'd make a YouTube video about. That's like me getting fired. Wow. My I know. heart goes and out to you. The name was Danny Panic and that made me panic. That was stressful to listen to. I literally I just had like a flashback to all of my retail jobs doing that. Wow. <laughs> Although, whenever we're about to start like a Zoom meeting or something, Dan will always say the most inappropriate thing while it says connecting on the screen. And I'm yeah, like, Dan, yeah. you you have that moment where you know it's connecting. Yeah. So I always just drop a little nugget to try and uh, you know, psych fill out. Just try the lols. Mm. It's not a lol. It's it's definitely not a lol. Is it not? <laughs> oh dear! Not. Should we, Whoa, should we here's, here's something for you. Wait, oh, go on. wait. Okay, I want to. Okay, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, are we going to give each other haircuts again? It's kind of getting time. It's. I think it's got to happen. Um, I, 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 I don't know if I can do that fluke again because I really it, did a, mas- a masterpiece on your head. That's what I was about to say. Oh, that sounded weird. Um, but yeah, you did. And I agree fully. You somehow gave me a good haircut, and I don't think you knew what you were doing. I think it just happened. I think the universe just manifested it because I've got good karma for some reason. And I don't think it would happen again. I think if I, I let you come near me with a pair of scissors, I would just end up looking like a 13th century monk. I mean, that was a look. I think it's just too soon for its time. And in five yeah. years, we're going to look back at that video that was on my channel and be like, mm. actually... That was, a, that was a moment. I had That was that. a moment. Yeah. Because yeah. When, we, when we had the full emo head, that was the moment of then. In five Ooh. years, it's going to be mushroom heads. Yes. It's very like yeah. severe East London hipster. Maybe I just it needed is. to go there and do that. Yeah, you should. Mm. Yeah, you should have. I think it would have been a good thing. The idea scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do the upwards. The upward scissor is what you need to do. That's yeah, how to your, make it. You, not... you said that, and then I, I saw a couple of people in the comments were like, "What does Phil mean? He was just doing a random upward scissor moment. Or does Dan still have any skin on his head?" And yeah, thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's what that's what I learned when I when I googled it, upward scissoring. That's what makes the haircut look good. Because there's no yeah. straight, I think, straight I think lines. you're up because straightness, not here, honey. What? Uh, yeah, no, I think that is a valid technique. I just, yeah. you were doing it quite voraciously. Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> we've got two, two more Zoom fails. Can we have one now? I would quite like to listen to it. Can you play them? Yeah, I've been doing it. Do it. Look, I think we've been pressing it at the same time. I was in a Zoom court meeting for one of my clients, yeah. and the judge Ooh. asked one of the lawyers to move forward with the case that she really did not want to move forward with. And she thought that she put herself on mute, but then mm. she was not on mute, and she started talking mad shit about the judge in front of <laughs> everyone on the Zoom. No. <laughs> wow, okay, I think that just won up to Danny Panic. I don't... That's, that's crazy. <laughs> to an actual judge oh no and see like like the previous one was like me at retail i feel like that would be me if i ever became a lawyer in that alternate universe that would absolutely be me wow that is terrifying i think if i was in a courtroom i would just have the real urge to just shout objection or Mm -hmm. overruled You'd get removed. I would. I, <laughs> You'd get I, I would, for obstructing justice. I would immediately get kicked out. I think that's what would happen, for mm-hmm. sure. Um, so we've said that the tea is the food. Is there any other tea that we want to cover? Um. Well. Well, me being over. What about? I I can be quite paranoid. Like to the, I don't think you can always be too paranoid, but I get a bit like super paranoid. Um, we, we were going 
Where were we going? I can't remember. What we a had story to go... are you trying to tell? Is it the one that I think you're going to tell? Yeah, I don't know. Which, what story do you think I'm going to tell? Well, I was about to say something, and then I was like, no. But then you started talking, and I'm like, are we going there? Well, no, it's not. It's not. What I'm saying is, we had to go somewhere for a business thing, a biz thing, and we got a taxi, mm. and we were in the taxi, and the driver wasn't wearing a mask. So I yeah. was quite... I was quite brave and said, do you have a mask? And he was like, no, I don't have one. Mm. But I was, that was stressful. And I was like, oh no, okay, that's fine. That's fine. But then I'm the kind of person mm. that even <laughs> when, when I get out of the car, it's you're like, not going to confront that, somebody. No. Was no. that, was that good or bad? Thumbs up or thumbs down? So I was like, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. But and here's up. the thing, guys. I'm yeah. a little shit. Yeah. No, thank you. When we, cause here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Wearing masks saves lives. It does. We should be wearing masks. When we were going to... You know what the rules are? Everyone has to wear one. We got an app to get this and had a big pop-up. And it was like, hi, every single person is going to wear a mask because it's the law in London right now. And you need to, too. And if you're not, then you, you should get out. And also, it's illegal. And I was like, oh, my God, this is severe. We are being warned. Well, we're following the rules. Heck, yeah. And then this guy was just not... I mean, Phil's like, do you have a mask? He went, no. Yeah. <laughs> He just didn't care. So yeah. Phil's about to give him a thumbs up. And I, you know, I had a moment and I just went, sorry, sorry, sir, but thou weren't weareth protection. And I, I tapped the thumbs down on Phil's phone. Yeah. Thinking that was just my moment. But for Phil, I guess there was a lot more uh, personal responsibility. Well, that was my account. So now I'm like, if he ever sees me again, he's going to be like, it was him. He was the thumbs down. <laughs> Phil was like spending seven hours going, oh my God, he knows where we live. He's going to find us. And he's going to be like, are you the person that gave me a thumb down? And, you know, realistically, Phil, that's yeah. not going to happen. And no one cares. But you really believed that you had made an arch nemesis. Or I made you an arch nemesis. So you I made me the arch nemesis. That. Yeah. It was your yeah. fault. So I'm making Dan use the app from now on. If we, I don't think we've ever got to go anywhere again. But if we did, then it would be Dan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds Let's good. Let's get one more story from you guys. I'm a preschool teacher, and I was doing the thing where you dissolve an egg in vinegar and make it bouncy. Classic. Um, and oh, I was no. going to prove to the children that the egg was bouncy, but instead I dropped the egg and it splattered all over myself and my desk <laughs> and everything. The kids thought it was hilarious, so I guess that's something. <laughs> did, that's, I'm gonna um, say, I've. did you not watch my video? I had the exact same issue. Oh, you I did? Got, eggy vinegar all over me and I have to throw <laughs> away my socks because even though I wash them they smell a like vinegar egg so I feel your pain Ooh, if you did that, vinegar doing, egg. doing that live on zoom must have been way worse so I am cringing for you my imagination of this is so good because it's like you're you're trying to prove a point about science to these children and then you failed in front of them so basically you've just disproved science in front of all of your kids and whenever you're like hey guys gravity exists they're gonna be like no it doesn't i remember the egg <laughs> so, <laughs> good luck telling them that anything is real ever um because yeah the egg the egg smashed wow that's that's real right there damn yeah Okay. Well, I think I think I think that's enough of the tea. Unless you've got anything else to, I think pour, that on the to topic sip. of the Zoom fails, we have our own story, and this involves your naked butt. Oh no! I, 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 why is it always about me? We've got the boomer. We've got the naked butt. Ah, oh, fine. Okay. Right. Dan, for some recent projects, has had to do a lot more Zoom calls than me. Right. So when he's doing them, I don't <laughs> want to be serious. I don't want to be in the room making noise or doing anything. So I use that time to, you know, have a shower, whatever, whatever I need to do. I didn't realize that our shower door faces a mirror in the bathroom, which yep. faces a mirror in the hallway, in the hallway, which reflects completely at the right That's angle. The red, you know, the red pixel mirror. The, it completely at the right angle. <laughs> Dan's zoom My screen. screen. So, <laughs> no one. Let, let, let's just let's just disclaimer. No one saw anything apart from me, and I like yelped to let Phil have a moment. Um, yeah, Phil I didn't opened realize. the door, thinking this hallway is is not safe. is it's around two corners. But Phil came out in a towel, and we made yeah. eye contact. <laughs> 
okay. hit the mirrors. And then we had this moment, and I was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the Zoom call. What a complete nightmare of physics. Yeah, was, like, de- how did what that the happen? hell? What in the frickety frack refraction was going on with yeah. this bouncing of steamy mirrors, hallway funhouse mirrors, pixely mirrors, and my webcam? I don't, I don't even I know. Don't know. Like, we were the so fun- far apart. And yeah. then you just had this moment where you were like, I'm, I'm not safe. I thought I was safe. I'm not I thought safe. I was safe. The problem was I didn't have a full bath towel. I forgot. So I just was using a hand towel, which didn't fully cover my butt. So it was a real moment of panic when I noticed about four important people on Dan's screen. I was like, oh my God. People could have seen things. Um, they could have thankfully. seen things. I, I, don't, I don't remember how I justified the yell, but no one got mentally scarred because the moment I saw your head coming out of the door, I just shrieked. Yeah. I think everyone was it, like, oh, oh, Dan, he's just weird like that. You know what I mean? It's just a random hiccup. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks for that. Mm. That's the tea from me. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. It's not, it's not just us. People, I mean, these video calls... I don't know what you guys feel like if you have to do this for whatever reason, but they are so exhausting, even compared to human interaction. Like yeah. this right now, talking into a phone, it's casual, it's intimate, it's relaxed. I like it. I hope that you guys feel like wherever you're balancing your phone right now, that you kind of chill. Imagine if yeah. you were on a call with us and you were just on the camera and we were just looking at you. would be like, this is horrible. Zoom is horrible. Teams is horrible. <laughs> I don't want to have a meet with you. Oh my God. It's just, you just feel like you're being watched all the time. And as an introvert, yeah. I feel like I'm sat on my butt in pajamas. I speak to someone for half an hour and then I'm like, I need a three hour nap just to recover from the emotional abuse that was just sitting there in silence, nodding at whatever the hell someone was saying. I am yeah. ready for that to end. So, I'm ready yeah. to see another human. That's that. With my face. You know, we are eager for the future. We're hopeful. We want to sniff those vaccines. We want to get licking stuff. And in the <laughs> meantime, I hope you enjoy this audio experience that allows us all, what did I say earlier? To be undressed yeah. and unfiltered. Undressed and unfiltered, and as it. it should be. Uh, yeah. So on stereo, because it's Dan Day, What's your final segment of Dan Day, Dan? Well, I, I'm going to float this for next week, okay? Um, yeah. I, I like stupid names and alliteration. I'm, I might come up with an idea for a topic that just rhymes with my name, and it doesn't even make sense, but that's the jumping point. So yeah. next week, I think we should play a game called What Would Dan Ban, where yeah. I want you guys to suggest things you hate that I would ban from society. And you can just say what, what you want it to be. Moths. Yeah. Homophobia. And then I, as the divine ruler on Dan Tuesdays, will um, pass the final judgment. And Phil, you can aid in the debate too. So can I bring in some can... items? To, to you can do one, and then we'll talk about it next week. Go on, Phil. Okay. So can I do one now? I mean, do you, what would you ban? Uh, okay. I'm going to ban Sand. <laughs> Because it gets everywhere. It's every- it, gets it, gets everywhere. It, gets everywhere. it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. Star Wars. Um, uh, do I need to tell you why? Okay, here's why. The beach mm-hmm. is great. I like the beach. I don't yep. like the sand aspect. I love the yep. sea. Yeah. I love the sea. And I like the... <laughs> yeah. do, but, but Phil, do you love the sea? Yeah. yeah. I love... No, I, I like the sea. I, I mean, I'm scared to go out into the sea like further than I can stand up. I but... like the sea. I like the sea. I like the sea. Now imagine, because Dan, you're God in this situation. You can just erase sand. What if there was just a really nice lawn and then it was the sea? Would that make a difference to you? Do lawns have ants in them? Would you lie down? No. No, I would lie down. I would lie down on sand peacefully. Right. Here's the thing, Phil. I was going to ban. I was going to, I was going to say ban. You just ruined it. Do you want to know why? Why? Because when I'm at the beach and I'm already sandy and wet and I'm going to get in the sea again, I can lay on the sand. And other than maybe a sand flea, a sand tick or some kind of crab, I feel like I'm not going to get nibbled. I've had too many experiences where I'm having like a field meadow anime moment. I lie down and then I get bit by an ant or a beetle crawls on my head. Um, I don't like grass. I'm scared of grass. As a child, I would eat grass, roll around in grass, lie on grass. Now, as someone who knows the creatures of the universe that exist, grass scares me. I don't want to sit in it. Things are going to go up my bum. 
um, I think that's less likely to happen with sand. So Phil, I'm going to say no. I'm not going to ban sand. So, okay, I think we should. I think we should get some quick ones that people could say. Like what? Would they, no, that, Phil. Just, we're going to do can... this next week. Uh, okay. Well, I think they should send. I think they should send something in. Just I want some more. I want some more interaction with everyone before we go. What do you want them to say, Phil? I want them. I want them. To, I want them to do a bit of what would Dan ban. Oh, fine. Okay, here we go. I think we should replace sand with just concrete. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. with con- I, I mean, I'm not signing uh, up to that. I mean, from like a brutalism aesthetic point of view, yeah, man. Imagine a concrete beach. That would be lit. I'd like that. That's like my kind of style. See, this is the thing. Do you want, do you want a Dan Phil's apartment spoiler as well? When we were making a lot of what? decisions about materials... I quite like concrete. You know what I mean? I quite like that style. Shiny concrete. Yeah. I think it's modern. I think it's minimal. Phil hates it. He's like, it's cold. It's sad. I don't like it. If it was the Dan house, I think it would be a James Bond bunker, a complete concrete nightmare and miserable. But because we're collaborating and sharing the space, I think you have pulled my extreme minimalism into a slightly warmer textural palette. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you can have a little bit of concrete, but when everything is concrete, it does look a bit scary. So you're not Let's on team replaceable on. beaches with concrete. No, I'm not on that team. That I think grass I think, is fine. Um, that grass is the carpet of nature. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, <laughs> Whoa. carpet is lovely. <laughs> mm. I think it is the carpet of nature, and also sand. If we're getting back onto sand again, contains. Yeah. You don't know what's in it who's been there before what could you dig up and what creatures are laying there in the sand <laughs> if you dig anywhere you'll find anything man dig into your own carpet i'm sure you'll find a skeleton yeah okay but let's get oh, another the tory okay. government oh, oh, oh niall said it oh, it's been said and it's been approved places they've gone pla- place <laughs> places oh, oh my god you did it oh my god we're saved Wow, yeah. you had that power all along. Where were you before? Okay, th- th- I think that's a good that's a good amount. I've got a flavour for what the game. Is I don't now. think I, just I don't to think we're going to end on a better note than that. No, not really. Um, so this has yeah. been fun. Next time is going to be Phil Day, so watch out on said, Thursday. I'm gonna uh, what bring... can we expect? We're going to have a game night. I'm going to bring some games, <laughs> or maybe I maybe our game. <laughs> Because one yeah. of my favourite things is to force people to play games, and that's what we're going to do. So, oh, if you want to join us, it's going to be at nine pm on Thursday. On Thursday, for game it's night. It's going to be intimate. Yeah. It's going to be undressed. It's going to be unfiltered. And if your it YouTube is. video is anything to go by, what, you know, it's probably we're going to have more vaginal content. Stop it! Uh, if you have not followed us yet on Stereo. You should, because then if you're not even on oh, the yeah. app right now, you'll get a notification saying that we're live with the next show, if you've forgotten, because I forget everything. So make sure to follow both of our accounts. <laughs> I'm Amazing <laughs> Phil. I'm, he's Daniel Howell. And then yeah. we'll be around to entertain your ears. And also we're Thursday. doing a competition, aren't we? Until we move out, uh, if you follow yeah. us, then you could get a cube. Awesome you could get a cube. Photos, like a whole picture and stuff. Watch Phil's YouTube video. Follow yeah. us. We're get bit, your friends to follow us. Bit, Split the cube in half. You could saw it in half. Yeah, you could. We're just basically yeah. using you to get rid of stuff, but that's fun, and I'm sure you'll appreciate yes. the cube when you get it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for uh, everybody giving us someone to talk to. Thank you for giving yeah. us something to do. I'm not being desperate, but I am telling the truth when I say I really appreciate everyone that took the time to just give us something to do with our time, other than argue was, with each other. <laughs> It's been it's been lovely. I've had such a nice time. It's been a hoot. Thanks, thanks for coming, and we'll yeah. see you on Thursday. See you next Tuesday. I mean, no, this Th- Thursday. Thursday. Yes. See you this Thursday, which, which has an acronym, and it's probably good. Thursday, nine p.m. Be there or be yeah. square. Have It'll a be good a cute. night. Bye. Bye.